can easily be nicknamed Venice of the Alps for the amount of people here. Four euros for two scoops of ice cream. It's full of people today. Hey guys, another day, another vlog. We're in Ansi today. First stop is Lake Ansi in the city of the same name. And wow, it's so full of people. There are so many people. We've been going around in a car for 30 minutes trying to find parking. Not a free parking, any parking space. And we actually had to split to find the parking because there was none. There are many, many people today here, but look at the lake, how wonderfully beautiful it is. I'm so excited to discover the lake and the city together, so if you're ready, let's go with me. Lake Ansi, guys, is the second largest lake in France. And I just said that the water here is one of the purest. And indeed, guys, you can see that it is literally crystal clear. You can see every single stone beneath. I love it so much. I think it's, it's wonderful. I am not sure, however, that I'm taking a dip because as much as I love colder weather, not like today, I am not a huge fan of swimming in freezing water and it looks quite freezing to me, although I think we should check it. But guys, look how beautiful this area is. I love it so much. Okay, the pics are done, the cars are parked, we're finally ready to move to the city. This, guys, is the Lover's Bridge. It doesn't look so romantic with so many people, but the legend said that you have to kiss your loved one in order to stay with them forever on this bridge. And also, the view is really cute from here. This is to give you the idea of Pont des Amours from the outside, from a little bit of a distance. It's full of people today, but still really cute. You know, everything is cute in this town. Palais de Lille, guys, this castle, literally translated as a palace on the island, uh, was originally built as the home for local uh, nobility. However, then it was considered to be too strategically positioned to be just a home, and so it was turned into prison. And for years, it served as a prison. Today it's a museum, but I also really like how it looks from here. It is basically like a palace on the island on the canal, with canals on both sides, and the view from here is lovely. Even with all the people, it's still so charming. This art installation looks rather cute. I don't know what does it mean, but it's cute. The guys, and C is nicknamed the Venice of the Alps because of the canals. However, in my opinion, it can easily be nicknamed Venice of the Alps for the amount of people here in August. Because if you see in my older video from Venice in August, you'll know what I'm talking about. I will leave you a link up here if you haven't seen it. But wow, I didn't expect so many people to be here. Here is the thin line between cute, look at these balconies, and then the reality. 
As soon as you get out of the old city area, it gets way, way better. You can actually breathe here, you can walk normally. There aren't as many people and there are many, many more uh, free places at different bars and cafes and creperies. And that's exactly where we are heading right now. for two scoops of ice cream. Guys, coming from Italy, this seems like a crime against humanity. So I got uh, this crab with uh, apple cream, caramel, and it was supposed to be chantilly cream, but it looks like whipped cream, but it's okay. I think this is what Chantilly cream is here and it's different in Italy, but we won't argue. Mm. It smells so good. It's very good, guys. Very, very tasty. True French crepe, as it should be. I like it so much. Mm. A few minutes drive from Ansee, guys, there is this free park of deers and other wild animals. At least it says that there are other wild animals, but I can see only the deers. Well, one deer, actually, but I'm sure there are more. Maybe inside the house, maybe over there, but I'm pretty sure there are more. Let's go and try to find them. Guys, this area is really cute. You can have picnic here and there are lots of animals and yeah, I really like it. I wish it wasn't as hot today, but still it's really, really nice. This view is a bonus we didn't know about. We were coming here only for the deers, but we found way, way more. Uh, it was a very beautiful, but also a very intense day, and we are quite tired, so, I think it's time to say bye. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. May you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.